15, 15th birthday, Sam put $1,000 in an investment account. If the account has 7.2% rate of return and compounds semi-annually, how much will it be worth on Sam's 35th birthday? So you were probably given this, this formula or it's in your book. Um, do you know if you're going to get an equation sheet? Need to write this down or where do you? Um, no, we don't get an equation sheet. Will this equation be given or do you got to memorize it? Uh, we have to memorize it. Okay. So P is how much you start with. We'll go through mm -hmm. that in a moment. It's always one plus. R is the interest rate. Mm -hmm. And then N is the number of compounding periods. Again, we'll write all these down to the N times T power. Okay. Um, so, the, so the A is like the future value. Mm -hmm. That's usually what you're calculating. P is what you start with. Okay, R is the rate as a decimal. Very important. You have to convert that rate to a decimal. N is the number of compounding periods. And that depends on the word, like daily, annually. Uh, in this problem, it's semi-annually. So all of these mean something. Mm -hmm. And then T is typically the number of years. Okay. Okay, so you don't you don't need to know this. It's not like it's not like an English vocabulary thing. It's do you know where to put the numbers in the equation? Okay. Yeah. Um, so in this problem, and, and I do think it's worth doing, is 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 writing them down, at least for the first one here. I'll take any of them. Um, P, R, N, or T. Can you tell me any of them from this problem here? Um, yeah, P would be um, 1,000. Good. And then R would be 7.2. It's the rate as a decimal, though. You have to convert right. it to a decimal. 0 0.072. It's a common mistake. N oh. is the number of compounding periods comes from this right here. Um, Semi-annually, so would that be half a year? Two, two right. times a year. Two, it, is, it is half a year, but it's, it's number of times per year. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll cover all of the words here after this example, but we'll, uh, we'll do this. So now T, how many, how many years? Um, one. So what they're asking about his 35th birthday. He's currently 15. Oh, okay. So 20, 20 years. Yeah. Okay. Now from here, it's, it's really not that difficult. You're just putting the numbers into the formula. Okay. Oh. So what I would make sure you do is I would make sure you write the formula with the numbers in it. That way, if you make an error in the calculator, at least you can point to and say, hey, look, I had the right formula. I just put it in the calculator wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have a do you have a TI-83 or an 84? 84. 84. Okay. So I've got an 83 virtual that I can share, but do you want to just try calculating this and see how you do before I jump in and show you? Or Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Okay, I got um, four thousand one hundred fifteen point one nine three zero seven eight. Okay, so it's money. So you have to stop after two decimal places. So give me okay. the rounded answer after the one. Everything else is fine, but it, it's got to got to be to two decimal places. So four thousand one hundred fifteen point nineteen. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So like the, what the teacher's looking for is basically what's here without the stuff on the right. Formula mm -hmm. shown, numbers shown in the formula, final answer, maybe labeled on the left here. Okay, now so, if you, go ahead. So is there like um, anything in the, like, like the um, sentence that like tells you when you're gonna be dividing and when like you won't be dividing, like where it's 0 0.072 divided by two? That's the semi-annual. So, so I'm going to give so you that, all the, uh, yeah, I'm going to give you all the words to look for next. Okay. 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 Uh, that I can think of. So mm -hmm. uh, here, here's the way it goes. If it's annual, that's N equals one. Okay. Semi-annual is N equals two. 
Mm. Quarterly is n equals four. Monthly is n equals 12. This is this would be rare, but bi-monthly would be n equals 24. That means twice a month. Mm -hmm. The next one is daily, which is 365. Okay. You probably know these, but seeing them in a list would, would help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we look at the next problem, um, you you want to like you're asking me, you really want to look for that keyword. You know, wh which one is it that stands out here? Mm -hmm. for it, so, okay, so here we go. Question thirty four. Alexis' parents put seven thousand five hundred dollars in an investment account for her when she was twelve. If the account has an eight point three percent rate of return and compounds quarterly, how much will it be worth when she's sixty two? Uh, again, you got to write that formula. I'm not very good at giving tips for memorizing formulas. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry about that. But um, you do also have to identify these values. So take a moment, see what you come up with. Okay. Okay, I got for P, I got 7,500. Good. And then R, I got 0 0.083. Good. And? And then for T, I got four. Four. And how about T? Or for, for T, I got four. So N is the number of compounding periods. That's that's the quarterly. Oh, wait. N was, N was what? The number of compounding periods. That, that was the whole thing we were doing here. Oh, oh, okay. And Sorry, then what was, so what T, was, T is the number of years. T is like how long they're doing this. Oh, okay. So that'd be 62 minus 12 then? Yes. So 50. 50, okay. Okay. Okay, so now, now it's just a matter of putting it into the formula correctly. So again, grab your calculator, see what you come mm -hmm. up with. Okay. I got eight thousand two hundred twenty six point nineteen. So that there's so that that number is very far from being correct. You should always do the calculation twice. Now, now, tell me what you did in the last one because you did this one right. Did you multiply the two and the twenty at that um, time? No. Okay, because you did this one perfect, and I mean, I I can't see what's on your calculator screen. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you're putting parentheses around, you know, your exponent, but just give the calculation another try. Okay, so I do the one plus point zero eight three divided by four in parentheses and then the to the power of 4.50 in parentheses it, it's four times 50 sorry maybe that was on oh, you're, oh, you're, 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 you're multiplying n times t oh okay i wrote to the power of four and a half yeah and i didn't write it very well so that that could also play into it um okay. I got seven thousand eight hundred fourteen point forty eight. We're we're still way off here. Um, so let me. Uh, um, okay, let me let me share the virtual TI and see mm -hmm. if that helps here. Give me okay. just a moment to get that pulled up. 
Um, this is one of the limitations of this doing it this way as I don't have the ability to just grab your calculator and show you how to do it. Apologize. Mm -hmm. But this is a suitable alternative. So uh, let me uh, share that here. All right. So this is a T83. It's not going to be exactly the same, but you start out by doing 7,500 parentheses, one plus 0 0.083 divided by four, close parentheses. Does that look like how you're starting yours? Yeah. Okay, now the exponent, you need another set of parentheses okay. for, the, for the four times 50. Mm -hmm. So does yours look something like that? Yeah. Okay. It's a very different number than you're giving me. Much, much, more, much larger. Okay. So I put, I accidentally put four times 0.50 because I was still like. Oh, okay. That'll do it. That'll do yeah. it. Um, what does this round to with two decimal places? Um, so it'd be 455. 1,972, and then is it, so you move it three decimal places, you say? Two, two decimal places, money. Two. Money's always out to two decimal places. Okay, and then so it'd be 0. 0.85? Yes. Okay. Good. good, very good. All right, let me uh, find some more problems for us to look at. The main thing I'm noticing with you is we just got to get you to write the the um, write the um, um, var values of the variables down. Um, geez, sorry, I'm just trying to find some that aren't too crazy here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Here's a question. So I'm mostly just interested in the PRNT mm -hmm. start. So go ahead and uh, take a look at this one. Tell me what you come up with. I, I still see the calculator. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I had not switched over to that. Very good. Doing too many things. All right. There okay. go. Yeah, take a look at that. Let me know the values of P, R, N, and T. If you have questions, please ask. Okay. Okay, so for P, I got 1,500. Good. And then R, I got, is it, so last time we made it to where there was, point, so like would I add two zeros in front of the decimal this time or just okay. one? Good, good good question. So there, there, it's four point. Do you agree with that? Four yeah. Point? So you move mm -hmm. the decimal, decimal left two times. Okay. Yeah, that's and, what I and, and, and wherever wherever there's an empty, kind of think of it as an egg, an empty egg carton, you, you fill in with an egg. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please ask. Yep. I mean, this through practicing mm -hmm. for the quiz, want to make sure you do well. Test. Okay. How about N on this? And I got two. Quarterly. Oh, four. I thought. I'm getting. Yeah. I just get confused with the N and the T. I switched to the C. Okay. The T will always have a years with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the N would be four, and then T would be two. Good. Okay. Good. So, you, so your formula here is fifteen hundred. 
one plus 0 0.04 divided by four to the four times two power. Um, so go ahead and, um, you know, this is, this is important actually to get the right number. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and work, give me a number in your calculator whenever you got it. Um, uh, almost got mine going. Okay. Um, I got uh, 1,624.29. Good, really good. Okay, okay. another uh, question for you to look at here. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've, we've decided that the T, when you're looking for T, you, you're looking for something that has the word years around it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That will help to discriminate between... Um, Okay, so for P, I got 1,750. Good. And then R, I got 0.135. Good. And then N, I got 12. That's right. And then T, I got 9. Yes. Okay. So this one isn't quite written correctly for what you're doing, but this was perfect. There's a little extra wording that I should have. Should have yeah, go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and calculate that for us, please. Okay. And uh, let me know what you... Uh, you come come up with. Oh, there is one more word. I guess I'll add to uh, to your list, but. Okay, I got 1,935.37. Sounds right. I'm just a little behind you here trying to get. Mm -hmm. uh, nope, not, not uh, sorry. It's nine years, right? Your T is nine? Yeah. Okay, so let's just, something's going on with the calculator again. One plus 0.135 divided by 12 to the power of, and you really need parentheses here, 12 times nine. Oh, okay. So, so I'm supposed to multiply twelve times that. I just put nine up there. It's it's n times t in the, uh, oh, the formula. Okay. Yeah. Make sure you have that figured. I mean, that's th there's no partial credit. It's like mm -hmm. without the uh, formula. Okay. Okay, I got 5,858.14. Good. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
so there's quite a few places to go wrong here. Mm -hmm. um, just be careful of that. Mm -hmm. Here's here's another. We got, got time for one more. Okay. Uh, do these money problems interest you? In what? What do you mean? Are, 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 like like, do you care about money? Do you is this like more exciting than you know exponents? Yeah. Good. It's good. There is some stuff in math that is, is important. So one of the mm -hmm. ones I did not put in here that we should we should add is weekly. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's 52 weeks in the year. Mm -hmm. All right. So here is your new problem to look at. So when we're doing this, like the formula, like every time, so like when I start out doing it, I should like first do all like the P, R, N, and T, right? Yes, exactly. And then when I'm filling it out, always is the exponent always n times t, no matter yes. what. Yes. Okay. Yes. Always. 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 No exceptions. Okay. It's n times t. Mm -hmm. Okay. So take a look at this one. Go ahead and label or write down whatever you you see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for P, I got 1,200. Good. And then R, I got 0 0.051. Okay. And then N, I got 2. T. And then T, I got 7.5. That's right. Okay. Okay, so now I uh, recommend writing your formula out before you go to the calculator. Okay. Also helps to show work to your teacher. They, they have a better feel that you're, you understand how to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one thousand seven hundred fifty point seven two. Okay, let me check real quick. I was looking for another problem. Um, mm -hmm. I, I have to actually do these because because these numbers don't necessarily mean anything. Yeah. Divided by two. Yes, that's that's correct. Okay. okay. All right. So how are you going to remember this formula between now and tomorrow? I'm going to look at it tonight and in the morning. Okay. And, like, and you asked all really good questions. You got to write mm -hmm. them all down. Yeah. You move the decimal to the left two times. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if, if the rate, if the rate is 5%, you move that decimal left two times. Okay. Point, point zero 0.05. If the rate is 2.35%, you still move the decimal left two times and fill in where you need to. Okay. All right. So that will that will do it for us for tonight. Um, thanks for uh, uh, you know thanks for scheduling. Um, we're not yeah. doing anything on Sunday unless I hear otherwise. But uh, hope you enjoy the weekend and uh, catch you next week.